when we started it, 2019 April, by November, I got Spotify on the phone. I think Shaka Zulu had made some calls too. So that's probably how Courtney Hope got my number okay. also. Shout out to Shaka Zulu. Um, and we talking to him and he said some shit to me like, how much you want? I almost dropped the phone. I'm scared to death. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker asked me how much I want. I don't do that type of talk. <laughs> he said, how much do you want? How much you guys want? I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa. I don't, listen, man. So I said, damn, what we got to do? Like I said, uh. How, do, do we? I mean, do we get to stay on YouTube? We, he's like, we want everything. I said, nah, right. no, we ain't doing that. But we finished call. We talking back and forth. Then we got introduced to Barstool, and when we met them, it was like that shit took five minutes, man. Because one thing about them, first of all, I love my partnership with them. They're great partners, right. and I think we need to amplify and educate people on the power of partnership. Eric Nardini, Dave, uh, Dave Portnoy over there, Gaz, and everybody, the whole team over there, they great partners, and and. So we got with them, and it was straight to the point. They already did their research. They was like, oh, you know, y'all the real deal. Y'all shit is real. I mean, we don't got nothing like y'all, but we'd love to partner up with y'all. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Y'all keep your IP. We do, you know, we're going to figure out the merch because they got a great merch business over there. And uh, we just going to figure this business out, but we're going to do an ad rev split. I said, all right, bet. Basically, a licensing deal. That's it. Took us four or five minutes. We done that. And through the partnership, it was just a lot of information. I would go to the office, and everybody was... Everybody was in the office from the sales team to the marketing team to the editing team to the graphic team. Everybody was educational. I would go there for, I'd go up to New York for two days, you know what I mean? And just kick it with, and they would just get, wallow, this is this. See these numbers? This is this, this is the RSS feed. This is this, wallow, boom. This is how we do the merch, wallow. This is how you do the sales. This is what the average, the, mm-hmm. I never seen no place like that. There wasn't no secret squirrel shit going right. on. It was real uh, transparent partnership. And I said, okay. And, uh, you know, they did something that, 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 that blew my mind. I get a call from Erica one day. She called me, she said, Wallow, I need you to you and Gil to meet some people. I said, all right, cool. I'm like, all right, ain't no problem. We could, could, could go with him. So she said, these are some important people. So me and Gil said, all right, cool. We go to New York, go to the meeting, right? Just me and Gil. And Dave calls her, yo, I want you to meet these guys. They, we walk into the room, nice little restaurant, and what's the name? It's two guys. Shake my hand. They say, hey, we such and such, such and such. I said, so, so what do y'all do, right? This way it get tricky, Fred, because I, I didn't lie. I'm like, this shit never happened to me in my life. He said, oh, yeah, yeah we, 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 fund, we fund the bars, dude. We fund them. Hey. So, so I say, oh, oh, what the f*** are you talking about? So when I call Erica, I, I go to the back. I'm like, Erica, no. She said, no, you know, y'all growing, and y'all going to become big like us. So we, we want to introduce y'all to the, some capital. This shit don't happen, bro. Right. Who take you? Who take you to go meet the plug? Yeah. And say here. Exactly. That's, that's when I knew these people was righteous people. Wow. It wasn't no try to middleman and none of that. It was like mm-hmm. here go some people. They do funding. We did some business with them in the past. They got unlimited. And when I say they own every, they, they got ownership in everything. Name a brand, and, and more than likely they got some ownership in it because they wow. funded them. Mm-hmm. Right. These VCs, big time. So that showed me some different shit. You see what I'm saying? That showed me some different when you're dealing with partners that's willing to say, you know what? We don't know how long our partnership might last, but here goes some funding people that you might need. Here goes some OPM, right. some other people's money, some great partners. You know, they might want a little action on some uh, some equity, but it's going to be worth it. So that's the next level shit that I that I love because what's going on out here sometimes, and I and I be and, and sometimes a lot of people don't talk about it. When you're doing business, you got to do business with business. And I don't think a lot of times we don't know how to do business with business as black people because we, we got this thing in us where it's though, there's a lot of cultural finessing going on. Right. <clears throat> oh, no, do this with... No, no, I'm doing business. Right. Now, if we doing that, business, that that's cultural cool. Cultural finessing is cultural they're going to market what they're doing by saying we got to be black. We got to be gotta black. We got to be black. But our business ain't got to be right. And right. I'm not saying that's for everybody. Right. But, 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 but when you look at it, it's about partnership. And if it's partnership, don't try to cultural finesse me because, like, we supposed to do business and, and, and how I'm going to do business with you and y'all, you know, 85 or $75 million short than what these people talking about. What we talking about now? We not talking no business. Oh, we black. Ho, 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 ho. I'm trying to make moves today that's going to secure the futures of the family members I won't be living to meet. I can't do that playing this bullshit and you trying to finesse me so you can middleman. Because you're not taking me to the plug like they did. Mm-hmm. You're not going to do that. 
You want to get in between me and say, uh, here go 10 million, but I'm going to make 40 on the back because I'm going to cut y'all off. Middleman, y'all ain't going to educate y'all about the business of this shit. And it's going to be a lot of money coming in for marketing ad that you're not going to know about. But take this little punk ass 10. We not doing that. Me and Gilly ain't doing that. Because one thing about us, we the outsiders. We not, we not doing all that. We don't do that all that. Uh, and I think a lot of times, a lot of people get mixed up in all these partying, celebrity, all this fake ass get together stuff. We don't do that shit. And it's not that we don't fuck with our people. We do. But it's a lot of bullshit that come with that. And a lot of people get drunk in these parties. These what's the name? Next thing you know, they signing some bullshit. Right. Because we can pull our paperwork out. We own 100%. We getting real serious money. We just ain't no bullshit. This ain't, for real, for real, I, I feel like I play in the league. Baseball. Mm. <laughs> Baseball. Guaranteed. You said something, you said baseball. Though. Baseball. Baseball different. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to be playing for a while. Right. Love it. You see what Love I'm saying? And, and I only do 36 months deals. And I only do licensing deals. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a different conversation. So at a lot of times, we got to take our business to where business want to respect our business. That's it. That's all I'm telling people. If it so happen to be black people, cool. If it's not, cool. But don't don't be finessed into the that coach. Do it for the culture. All right. What you mean do it for the culture? Who, who, I got to do it for my babies. I got to do it for my grandmother. You got to do it for your kids. You got to do it for you. Got to do it for your kids and your wife. If you've expired today, mm -hmm. if you expire today, how are your people gonna be taken care of? Because the culture ain't coming to worry about your motherfucking people.